Our next story is in Rwanda, where farmers can no longer rely on rain to grow their crops. Increasing changes in rain patterns have forced most farmers to use fuel pumps to irrigate their farms. Now, that, of course, causes carbon emissions. So, a group of young Rwandan scientists and tech inventors have devised a solar-powered irrigation technology to replace the fuel-based irrigation pumps. Withered corn husks aren't uncommon in Rwanda these days. The current drought has lasted months, and the increasingly extreme weather threatens the livelihoods of local farmers, especially those in the eastern part of the country. It's apparent that climate change is real and increasingly dangerous. The farming seasons that people are used to are no longer predictable. At times, it rains where one expected drought or drought instead of rains. It's confusing. You can't just farm and have hope of having harvest. Luayito Nyampeta is one farmer who has been fortunate during these hard times. Her fields are near a river, so she's been able to pump sufficient water to her crops. But the diesel needed to power the pumps is expensive, and the exhaust that is emitted as a result contributes to greenhouse effect. Now Rwanda is increasing its reliance on solar power. Researchers and technology experts from a Rwandan startup have developed a solar powered irrigation system. The high tech project was financed by a US aid organization and the Rwandan government. The new irrigation plant came at just the right time for 40 farmers from a cooperative in the Ungoma district. The drought made agriculture more difficult, and the cost of renting the diesel pumps nearly consumed the Miaga earnings. We ended up spending much of our earnings on buying fuel while using the fuel pumping generators. There's little left for our livelihood. Now we have gotten rid of all those expenses. We only need to deploy someone to water the plants. Due to the more affordable irrigation, Farmers can now tend larger areas of land and keep farming all year. Their yields are much higher as a result. I was only harvesting 50 kilograms of beans and two bags of sorghum each season. Now, with solar irrigation, the yield volume has multiplied by three. I'm considering expanding my farming even more. Solar-powered irrigation systems should be up and running in all 30 districts in the country by the end of 2021. An official from the Agriculture Ministry says that Rwanda hopes to have a climate-neutral economy by 2050. The Ministry of Agriculture has adopted uh, the solar system, uh, the irrigation through the solar system, uh, because of uh, uh, it's uh, cheaper in terms of energy consumption. And secondly, it's um, uh, climate uh, smart. Climate smart also means a more thoughtful way of managing water, one of the Earth's most valuable resources. The startup that builds the solar irrigation system has also developed a system to measure the temperature and moisture of the soil. Sensors calculate the exact amount of water needed by the plants. Farmers are then notified via an app about when and how much they should water their crops. The plants need to get uh, the optimum of what they need. That's why we believe when they use this uh, technology, they are going to improve their production. Uh, and it has been tested to be a success in the pilot phase we have been doing. This pilot system is powered by solar energy as well. Now the farmers know exactly which plants need water and how much they need. For the time being, they're improvising with plastic bottles, which will soon be replaced by water horses.